This video shows you how to customize web authentication pages on the Cisco Wireless Controller or Cisco WLC. You can customize the login, the login failure and the logout pages on Cisco WLC. To configure customized web authentication pages using Cisco WLC, ensure that you have the following. A Cisco WLC configured for internal web authentication, a GNU compliant compression tool to create a tar file, a reachable TFTP server, a customized HTML file named login.html, a customized logout HTML file which is optional, and a customized login failure HTML file which is optional as well. You can also download and customize the sample files available at the following location at cisco.com. Archive the customized web authentication HTML pages into a tar format using a GNU compliant archive tool such as PicoZip. Ensure that at least one of the HTML files in the package is named login.html. Additionally, you can have HTML files for login failure and logout. Give the web authentication bundle a name of your choice. Copy the web authentication bundle to a reachable TFTP location. Customized web authentication pages using Cisco WLC have the following restrictions. The HTML files must contain only image files in JPEG format. The web auth bundle should be less than 5 MB in its compressed state. And the web auth bundle must contain at least one HTML file named login.html. This video shows you how to download the web authentication bundle from a reachable TFTP server to Cisco WLC. In the Cisco WLC web UI top menu, click the commands tab. In the download file to controller window that is displayed, choose web auth bundle from the file type drop down list. Choose TFTP from the transfer mode drop down list. In the server details area, enter the TFTP IP address in the IP address field. Enter the TFTP file path in the file path field. Note that the path name begins from the FS directory of the TFTP server and does not include the FS directory. Use forward slashes between directories of the file path. In the file name field, enter the name of the web authentication bundle. Click download from the top right corner, click OK. Observe the status message displayed below and wait for a successful installation message. The customized web authentication files are now downloaded to Cisco WLC. This video shows you how to configure Cisco WLC for customized web authentication. In the Cisco WLC web UI top menu, click the security tab. In the left navigation pane, click web auth and then web login page. In the web login page that is displayed, choose customized or downloaded from the web authentication type drop down list. In the redirect URL after login field, enter the URL of the page to which the end user should be redirected after successful authentication. Click Apply. Cisco WLC is configured for customized web authentication. This video shows you how to configure customized web authentication pages for a particular WLAN on Cisco WLC. You can configure the login page, the login failure page or the logout page. In the Cisco WLC web UI top menu, click the WLANs tab. In the WLANs window that is displayed, click the ID number of the WLAN for customization. 
In the WLAN's edit window, click the security tab and then the layer 3 tab. From the layer 3 security drop down list, choose web policy. Click the authentication radio button. Check the override global config enable checkbox. When the web auth type drop down list is displayed, choose customized downloaded. To customize the login page, choose login.html from the login page drop down list. To customize the login failure page, choose failure.html from the login failure page drop down list. To customize the logout page, choose logout.html from the logout page drop down list. Click apply. The web authentication pages are now customized for a particular WLAN on Cisco WLC.